classes of people. Those who see. Those who see when they are shown. And those who do not see. It's kind of funny how they let us know. <laughs> they let us know all of these things without actually going out and saying it. Yeah, I don't see how... If, if, if you're not awake now and you can't see this, and you think this is just a coincidence, well, I can't help you. So, I have defined NIN. Of course, the 9-inch nails comes up. But the other thing that comes up I found very interesting was is the third one down. The Sumerian word N-I-N, okay, is the sign for a lady, okay, a divine lady, a god or a priestess, okay. So there's just too many coincidences, okay, that NASA would actually happen to have somebody named Leonid Elenin, which basically means a cluster of comets that you can see coming from Leo that shower in November causing an extinction level event from a goddess. The black sun and the number 13 and its connection to 2012. That's what I'm going to discuss in this video. To me the black sun is the source which powers our physical and temporal reality. Here is an excerpt from a website explaining a possible meaning behind the black sun. According to Peter Moon in his book The Black Sun, the ultimate concept of Thule is well represented in the myth of it as the capital city or center of Hyperborea, a word which literally means beyond the poles. As it is beyond the poles, Hyperborea is positioned as being outside of this dimension. Thule, being in the center, is positioned as the source of all life on Earth. In Greek mythology, Pythagoras was taught sacred geometry by Apollo, a god who was identified as a resident of Hyperborea. In Pythagorean teachings, the earth itself geometrically unfolds from a void in the center. This void has been recognized by many ancient groups, including the Sumerians, as the Black Sun. In this sense, Thule is synonymous with the Black Sun. Due to the delicate nature of this Black Sun symbol, which has been used throughout history all over the world, I want you to be educated on this. I don't want one man to ruin this symbol. The symbol is actually a four-sided symbol, which is an archetype for the rotations of time and consciousness, moving clockwise and counterclockwise, and in upward or downward spirals, allowing souls to experience many levels of reality simultaneously. Just look at our galaxy very closely right now. Look how it's spiraling. Do you see any symbols out there naturally in history that have mimicked it? You guessed it. It's the swastika. I must admit, I was a little bit turned off when I first came across this, but then I thought, hey, this has been around for thousands of years and found independently by dozens of different cultures around the world. So there must be some truth behind this symbol. Don't let one idiot ruin it for the rest of us. I believe this symbol popped up as kind of a wake-up call. Albeit a rude awakening, it was still a wake-up call. You know how your alarm goes off right before you wake up and you're having a really nice dream and it incorporates it into the dream? I think that's what this symbol is doing. It's kind of letting us know that our evolution is coming in 2012. Not to mention 13 is the second star number of a hexagon and the seventh Fibonacci number. 13 was a number central to certain traditions of sacred geometry because it reflected a pattern which could be seen to exist in man, nature, and the heavens. For instance, there are 13 major joints in your body, there are 13 lunar cycles in a solar year, and the moon travels 13 degrees across the sky every day. Six circles placed around a seventh central circle is a model of geometric efficiency and perfection in the second dimension that has been known to mathematicians for ages. But this same configuration in three dimensions consists of 12 spheres arranged around one central sphere, making 13 in all, the most compact three-dimensional arrangement recurrent in nature. This is the Aztec version of the Black Sun, if you see the guy in the center, 
and the arrow is pointing up. The up arrow is going to the 13th symbol. The glyph which represents both the start and end of the Aztec calendar is known as 13 Cain and symbolizes the death of one cycle followed by the birth of another, the Alpha and Omega. Surprisingly enough, the death card for the tarot is also a number 13, as you see him holding the number 13. But it's nothing to be afraid of, it's just a transition, or some inexorable forces beyond your control, putting the past behind you, having to part ways by going through a transition, moving from the known to the unknown. So it's getting back to the basics and being part of a powerful moment and riding your fate. So it sounds pretty exciting time to me. If time even exists after that point, if you know what I mean. Time is like a river. When you touch the water in a river, the water that you touch is the last of that which has passed and the first of that which is to come. So it is with the flow of time.